Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Pisces for the week of February 25th through March 4th. Happy birthday, Pisces. Let's see where we are. I think this will be a very interesting week for Pisces, for the Pisces elemental sign, and also for Pisces karma. There will be a lot of healing on the table for Pisces in this upcoming week, a lot of breakthroughs. Uh, in terms of how the Pisces is feeling about themselves and about life and about past challenges, past life energies and issues. A lot of healing this week. So let's see where we are. Becoming unstuck. Starting over. Look at energies, guys. Okay, I have to, I have to go over these cards with Pisces because... I always shuffle through a little bit initially when I'm starting to get a feel of the energy and these cards keep reappearing for Pisces, so we need to try to see what's going on. Pisces, I think, there is a lot of faded and karmic energy on the table for Pisces in the week of February 25th through the 4th. The Pisces is developing an understanding that they have to perhaps take more control of their environment. They have to take more control, uh, not be in the backseat, not stay in the backseat, and they have to be more commanding in how they are portraying themselves it feels very much so like a work situation that, and there's no judgment here. It's like the Pisces has not really spoken up for themselves or taken up for themselves, and they don't want to now, but they will have to, and it's quite detrimental for their future if they're not taking control over their situations, especially with work situations, they will be walked over. They're going to be walked on, walked over, forgotten or displaced or pushed, 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 pushed out, pushed out. And guys, in general, this should be a great week for all sides, but I do want to try to give the energy. So let me see how else we can look at this situation. But Pisces, you have, it's, it's not, it's not easy to speak your truth. It's not always easy to stand up for yourself. It's not easy to make waves. And the Pisces may not enjoy doing this. But in the week of February 25th through March 4th, they have a window to do this, express themselves in a more de de decisive way, a more commanding way which might be viewed as uh, out of character for the Pisces, but it's necessary. It's like a window is open for you to do this. And if you do not take this opportunity in some respect to speak your truth, there will be longer term implications if you do not come forward now or soon, sooner than later. Let's see what else is here, and then I will try to uh, show you some of the cards wh why I'm saying this. Pisces, this is going to be a very interesting week for you. You have to, this is a week, Pisces, that you have to speak up. It's time to speak up. Now, if you've been planning something and it's still in the works and you're still working on strategy, uh, don't, don't divulge your plans or your intentions right now. But if it's something that you need to gain for yourself, uh, for your livelihood, especially around work, now is the time to move. Now is the time to speak out. Now is the time to speak up. Same in relationships. If you have not necessarily voiced your opinion, 
about a specific situation and it looks like a very specific situation it can also it feels like it's around a round of move looks like it could be a round of move uh, and perhaps you're going along with something that you do not actually want to do or have a desire to do but you're so nervous about making waves you're so you're so nervous about making waves you're backing down and not saying anything and this is also detrimental to you it's not fair to you so you have to speak out about whatever this is that's going on we have the ten of pentacles with the golden cage because this will have an impact to your family life or to your future especially this week this is a week of healing this is a week of renewal this is a week of rebirth this is a week of recovery there's like a portal or a window open a very special time this week for healing also for business we have major arcana the justice also with the crusader so it's almost like the pisces needs to aggressively convey what it is that they want or they have to make a critical move right now that will be detrimental to their to their yeah to their future to their future and okay if you want if you want things to improve for yourself Right now, if you stay quiet and you do not make waves and speak up, now you can be diplomatic. If you do not make waves and speak up now, you're going to pay for it later. Now, I don't want to, I don't really like to put messages out there like that, but it feels like that. You'll be perceived as being perhaps weak. And if not weak, it can also be a perception that you just don't care, that it's not important to you, that you're not willing to fight for your rights or you're not willing to fight for your beliefs or you're not willing to fight for what you want and it might be a situation where someone thinks especially if it's work that you'll just go away you'll find something else and you'll do you'll you will do something else if if you don't get what you want even if it's a promotion or if, if it's a raise this is what it feels like that it has a lot to do with work more so than relationships. I would like to pull a few more cards and then I will pull from the good tarot because I would like to see if there are relationship aspects. In terms of relationships, if you're not speaking out and speaking up about something that is having a significant impact on your contentment and satisfaction in the relationship, it's not only hurting you, but it's hurting everyone in the dynamics of this and you don't have to pretend like everything's okay to keep the peace and if it's a situation where if you do speak up and the person is so aggressive and threatens to leave or go then it's probably also something that has to be addressed if, if you would be given ultimatums or threats if you speak out about something that is uh having a negative impact on you so let me see what else we can pull out we have another major arcana so we have one two three four five six seven major arcana out of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten cards guys that's what kind of that's what kind of a week is going to be for pisces but i know that this is a, a lot of planets are stacked right now in pisces so it also has to do with the very karmic element to what's happening now for all signs but for pisces it feels like this is a turning point for you you have come to a crossroads where either you are going to speak your truth find and look for solutions or find your way out of a situation that no longer is working for you and you can try to keep things to yourself and think, ah, if I hold on a little bit longer, if I'm, if I don't speak out, if I keep the peace, it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. But 
that's not that will you you can do that Pisces you can let me take this back you can do that if you want things to keep going exactly how they're going right now you can do that that could be your strategy you can keep the status quo but if you really want a change if you really are looking for a change in a current way of being or a current way of being treated then you will have to not hold your peace and you will have to come forward, see the little defiant child running from the mother after it broke its toys. So it's kind of a competition between this, the vampire, and this feels like a psychic vampire for Pisces, somebody taking the energy, or defiance. It's your choice, Pisces. It's up to you, you know? It's, it's always up to you about how you will handle these type of situations but it will serve you better if you speak out let me see if we can pull out anything else for new partnerships so this was more for business it felt like more for business for me let me see what that is new partnerships this is the eight of swords Pisces come on let's pull, pull something out of this that's going to be a bit more telling for us here for newer relationships. You are not stuck. You are not stuck. It's all about you and the decisions that you're making. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you're willing to take the responsibilities for what you do and what you don't do, Pisces. So I'm not trying to judge, okay? But it's up to you. It's up to you. You can keep the status quo. You can keep the status quo. Keep the status quo. Wondering if you should come forward and how. Good way to go. How how to do it. Yeah. Or you can react. Speak your truth. So let's see what else we have. And two more major arcana. Pisces, this is going to be a, hey, this is your week. This is your week. This is really the Pisces week to, yeah, change your life. You can change your life this week, Pisces, if you have the wherewithal to speak out and I feel a clinch, I feel a nervousness and a reluctance, but if you take that risk, it will pay off in spades. Whatever you're thinking about risking, whatever you're nervous about uh, losing, you will have to set this aside for a moment and really think about the best way forward. And if that means that you have to speak out and make a discussion uh, with the boss or with a partner, and say what it is that is the issue, what's bothering you, what needs to be fixed, or if you haven't received what was promised to you. Also, if you haven't received what was promised to you, Pisces, then you have to speak out and say, where is it? Where did it go? When do I get it? So that's what I have for Pisces. Let me pull a few more. This is uh, uh, one of the longer readings I've done in a while. But I'm going to count one more time. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'm not counting the symbol on Carmen cards. Out of the 16, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have seven major arcana, guys. Sorry, eight. So half the cards are major arcana for Pisces this week. Big energy, guys. Take advantage of it. It's a week of healing. Also diving deep. Things that you may not have wanted to look at. I'm going to keep these two out. Bringing them out and addressing them. Not letting it go anymore. We have the Ace of Fire. I don't read reversal, guys. I don't need to. So this is the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Five of Air. 
a lot of something about repetition uh, energy too for Pisces. I'm not sure why. A lot of rep repetition with the Pisces. And for me, this feels more like rumination than uh, repetition of a kind. It's more being lost in your thoughts, perhaps even lost in what you should do, being too nervous to make that move or make that jump. But if you do it, I, you know, you get nothing in life is guaranteed. It's always about risk, but it feels like a quite dynamic week for Pisces that if they decide and they have that courage to make that move and do whatever this is that they have avoided, that there will be some level of relief, recovery, renewal, and rebirth. And I will say it, success ultimately associated with whatever this is. So Pisces, please, I think finally what I would say is go for it. Thank you for joining me. This is Rising Vibration. I'm Inga. I hope I see you guys back here next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.